Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Mega Aquarium where today we're going for shark number four. Everything's grown. Uh, oh, look at this. We've got lovely leveling it here. Uh, feeding and we're uh, talking. We're going to make you the talking person. Good. Okay, and we'll get rid of these. Okay, good. Delete all. And there is the tasseled wobblegong shark, which I think wins award for best name of fish. Uh, wolf fish looks good, doesn't it? Look at that one. Blonde skate. Oh, let's go for a blonde skate. I wonder if we can put the fish eating an enemy. Warning will eat damage with fish or size 2 or later. That should be a problem because everything's pretty big. Looks good though, doesn't it? Oh. Um, I, wanna, I want that one. I want to put it in with the turbot. Um, right, okay. Let's, um, let's think about what we need to do here today. We have got... Uh, I don't know what that messages were it was telling me about. We have now got our... Where's our shark? Tasseled Wobblegong Shark. Needs much? I don't know. Um, will eat or damage fish? Yeah, that's fair enough. Requires a supplement and crab. Doesn't actually look like it needs much in the way of like big tanks or whatever. So I think we should probably just do another wall tank like we've kind of carried on here. I think that probably seems to be the best way of doing things. Um, so let's open up this area here uh, yeah let's open up this area here let's put our deep wall tank in or should we do something a little fancier should we do an observer tank or should we, ah no I'll tell you what we'll do we'll do a corner tank and then we'll do an observer tank on the other side so we'll do a corner tank here like that yeah let's do that we'll do a corner a, a bear. thingy tank there then we can have an observer tank pretty much next to it like that and that should hopefully we could do if we could do our two sharks in that that would be awesome um, and then we'll just kind of fill in the gap with uh, with wall like that and we can have some seating or drinks maybe there um, and then we'll put a staff door in here to help us out. We might have to extend this little bit here because we're going to struggle to get all the filtration needed for this one. But we'll see how we get on. Oh god, itchy nose. There we go. I've, I've itched it. Uh, right. Let's get our Wobblegong Shark in. I just kind of think one is enough. Well, let's see. Let's see. Um, they don't, they grow pretty big. 44. So I think, yeah, one. Oh, and that gives us a turtle! Oh! <gasps> So where's that last shark coming from then? Where's that starry smooth hound coming from? Ah, here we go. <gasps> it's a quest. Let's get this dude set up and then we'll have a look. Right. Um, cave. No problem. Boom. Done. Uh, plants. Asparagus weeds, just because it's new. I want some asparagus weed in here. It's a weird looking plant. Uh, do we have anything else new? Not really. We could maybe do some... Oh, nets a bit bigger than I thought they were going to be. Uh, oh, what about like... Yeah, like actually in the middle. So it gives a bit of depth to the place. And some uh, little shells as well. Um, it's too low temperature. That's fine. So let's get... We haven't unlocked that mega one yet. It's about to be done. I'm tempted to let it run and just stick it in. One of them, first of all. More than enough heat. Actually, no, do you know what? It doesn't actually need that much filtration. So probably one of them, yeah, is enough. There we go. <laughs> um, tempted. No, there's not really much we can do there. That's a shame. I was going to say, tempted to maybe move stuff around a little bit, but I don't think we really can. Um... Crab and supplement. Let's get them both in. He, that was quite an easy fish to add, to be honest. Um, supplement. There we go. That's both of you sorted. Uh, nice bit of prestige. Good. Coming in. Okay. Let's uh, paint this floor. So we can really see what's going on. And then we'll have a look at that last fish. But I'm also very tempted... To try and get old Turtle Boy in there somewhere. Because that is definitely 
a new thing. I did say earlier on, one thing I'd really love to see in the game is more non-fishy options. Um, so that's good. That needs fixing. Why can't that get fixed? That nobody can get to that. Okay, pick next research. Great. Uh, let's go for. Really feel like let's get that trip. Let's get that large tunnel tank. Let's try that. Um, we can fix this. But that doesn't actually... There isn't actually a problem with that. It's the filtration that there's a problem with. But all of that seems to be working. Man, we're just desperate for like more filtration options. I don't think we have anything. Apart from that one, which is ridiculous size. I mean, we can make it work. We could get rid of that and that. Right, and then we could put one of them in there. And we could... And that's done it. There you go, already that's done it. Okay, let's move you to there. <laughs> Look at the size of that thing, how ridiculous. Um, but this one can't be got to, so we're going to have to put a... We could fix it, we could put a staff door here. Um, have they have they done that yet, so that staff doors overtake walls? No, that's a shame. That's something I'd like to see, a little bit of quality of life. There we go. It's just going to get people be able to fix that one. There you go. They're already on the way now. Good stuff. Okay. Um, let's get around here then. Let's have a look at this quest. We heard that you're interested in Starry Smooth Hound for the aquarium. We are able to supply you with one, but you must first prove that you're able to take care of it. Starry Smooth Hounds need a large, rounded tank and enjoy the company of smaller fish. Build a suitable tank and will happily provide you with the livestock. So... A tank with 200 volume, with rounded corners, five different animals in, with a point value of 300, with sufficient water quality and sufficient chilling. That will give us... Chilling? Is it a cold cold one, is it? Okay. That will give us the Starry Smooth Hound. Wow, that's going to be a tough ask. All right, well, in the meantime, then... Turtle, dude, in. I hope we can do it. Um, water temperature is too low. Needs plants, needs filtration, needs green pellets. I don't think we have a problem. I think we're going to have to... The problem is we can only go this far this way. The game won't actually let you move down here, look. So where are we going to... Oh, we could do it. I suppose we could stick it over here. Do a big old tank over there to sort of be the... In, actually, the entrance tank, even though it's going to be the first thing we build. Um, let's just unlock this area a little. To give us a bit of space for the stuff that we're going to need for our to toidle. Okay. So, um, feeding area. Let's do it here out of the way a little. Yeah. Do you know what? I'm even going to make that a staff door to really quick this process up a bit. So, Temperature, well, we should be able to do this one really easily. Uh, mega heater, boom, more than enough. Filtration, boom, more than enough. Okay, that's that done. So we didn't really need that extra area. Uh, oh, look at it though, it's adorable. Does it grow? Oh, it grows mega. Okay, it'll grow as big as it can. It needs lots of plants, nice. Um, what sort of plants do we want? I didn't like that asparagus meat. It looks a bit rubbish. I, I, this one seems just a bit too over the top, but then... I suppose that... Let's just get a really heavily planted place. Like, crazy plants. Like that. And then even a few sea lettuce that it will most likely eat if it was real. Oh, it's a heavy plant place, but look at it. Oh, it looks so happy with itself. Um, and it needs green pellets, uh, which can just go there. So really, we didn't really need to open much of that up at all, to be honest. In fact, we probably could have managed with, like, that done. There we go, just to, just to keep it neat. Let's just do that. In fact, I'll see what we'll do, because that looks a bit silly. Let's um, Let's just make that whole run. And then it looks like we meant it. <laughs> there we go. Um, we'll blue paint that. Needs a bit of wall there. So we'll do that. Boom. 
On the outside, that looks pretty good. Awesome. Okay. Uh, Tempted to put in a couple of machines here. So we'll have coffee and chocolate. And we can have a bench there. People who are really needing, needing a bit of a chill. And we can have a couple of bit. Oh, the poor lady's just been thrown into the backstage. Let me get you. Come here. Please, thank you. There we are. And we can now put a trash can there as well. There we go. People are loving Turtle Boy. Oh yeah, that's like my new favourite, I think. Let me come in and have a look at it. Come here. Oh yeah, look. Hey there. Oh, we're killing it. That is awesome. Okay, cool. Right, turtles in. So, let me just reread this one again. Emma's leveled up. Emma's a legend. Um, right. A 200 volume tank with rounded corners, different animals in it, and then just make those animals happy. So I think the way we're going to have to do this is, as I've said, do a big, big tank right over here. So, rounded corner tanks, we've got the Belfast, which goes up to 225, which is enough. Um, or we've got the small tunnel, which goes up to 280. Or we've got this one that's been researched, the large tunnel. Mm, I'm not sure we're going to use that. I think, actually, just a standard Belfast will probably uh, look pretty good. So, let's open up um, that area there, just for a moment. Because that's kind of like in the middle of this block, which makes the most sense. And then we'll put a big old Belfast in. Let's see if we can get it full size. Is that that big? Belfast tank at 225. There we go. So that's what we kind of want. I'm going to move it so that the corners are showing. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, now we just need to add enough room for the backstage, which is going to be here. So we can get in. And probably it'll need another couple there as well, just to be safe. Okay, so we'll just put a wall there. And a staff door on it. There we go. Now, oh, that's a point. Can we do that? We can't, can we? Um, we have to do something like that, don't we, for it to be really, truly backstage. Hmm. I don't want to be able to like see through into the staff area there, you see. I'll tell you what, we can fix it. It's going to be a little bit janky, but we can do it. Because even though the game doesn't like... Um, the walls there it doesn't mind ah it didn't mind before that was there let's just um in valley placement okay let's delete it we can do this let's get rid of all these walls this this will happen okay um Right. Okay. Seems silly, but that is that should let me do it now. There we go. And we can move you forward one. Perfect. And now we can have that as a staff door. And I mean, the, 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 the things are down, but the idea is there. They wouldn't be able to see through it, which is good. Um, walls, we're going to have to do something like that. That's fine. You little people can get back to where you need to be. And you as well. Okay. Right. So, food. They can now get fed. Um, and this was a, they did say it was a cold one. This didn't they? So, did we have them? Did we unlock the large chiller? Is that a thing that we have available? We do have the mega chiller there. Look, I'm tempted to go for that. See, as we're not going to be using any other tanks. 
Um, yeah, tell you what then, we're going to hold on a minute. Let's get that Mega Chiller unlocked. And, uh, and then we'll come back. Okay, chiller's done. Um, so we're going to build it here. I've got the pump. Uh, the quest already thinks I've kind of done most of it because we've got a couple of big ones already that obviously fit the bill. Uh, but this is the one we're going to use. So we're going to get... Um, let's get our five fish in there first. We need five cold fish. <coughs> Excuse me. So none of you or you. I did unlock a couple. Uh, there's one. So the bull huss. I won't go for you because I've got a feeling... Actually, no, you should be alright with other stuff. Um, hold on. Let's see if there's smaller ones first. I mean, I know, the, I know uh, it's not ideal. We might be able to get away with starfish. We might be able to get away with turbot. Lump suckers. Can't have anything else that eats mussels in that one, can we? Is that right? Uh, yeah, and mussels, so that's no good really. Wolfish is only one we picked up. Pretty standard fish, this one, by looks things. So we can drop one of them in. Alright, so there's a wolfish, that's gone. Uh, the other one I unlocked just then before was... Here, blonde skate. Um, you can't go in with crustaceans, but otherwise should be alright. So there's two. Um, I mean, Atlantic pollock, they're pretty standard, so th we could do three. Um, oh, and these, these things, are f these go in with anything, don't they? So four, five. There we go. So there's the fish, and the temp's too high, that's fine. So let's get the large chiller there. Is that enough? Wow, that's not quite enough chill. That's pretty crazy. Um, so one of them on as well. There we go. Filter-wise, I'm thinking... <laughs> there we go! There we go. Um, we need to move that. Hold on. Let's, let's put that make that a bit more sensible there we go um that is actually enough good stuff okay so let's just make the tank look good it needs caves so it looks, looks like a few of these uh, might be in order there we go they look pretty good though don't they plant wise let's get some um get some of this lower line towards the front and then our old favorite up the back because it needs to be done all right um and i think a few little oh, um, maybe some maybe some little stuff nothing too crazy because the, the star of the show here is gonna be mr uh, mr sharky himself i think maybe a pirate chest will look good um and if anywhere's going to have a cannon, it would be this one. I know I just said, I know I just said, nothing too crazy. But you know what? You're going to live once, don't you? Let's move that down there. Put a cannon in down here. Because we can. Look at that. Um, and have we got him? Inspection report. You've checked the tank and I'd like to say it's perfect for a starry smooth head to move in. Um curves yeah well can't go in with crustaceans eats crab so we're happy to supply you with baby shark hands now find them in the livestock oh okay so they're just normal fish are they yeah okay starry smooth hounds oh he oh this looks like a proper shark this is like there we go nicely done despite the honest restrictions you managed to fulfill their wishes and create an aquarium of epic proportions now for something a little different have you ever wished for a more bourgeois assignment your wish is granted in le dufon uh, you can continue to build here in Myra as long as you want to the message will stay in your message box um accessible via the button in the bottom left until you're ready when you're ready to move to the charming city of dufon uh, la dufon sorry le dufon pardon uh, let me know okay i would just want to i would just want to come and see sharky shark in here he's a beast I want to get all their food up and running. I want them to be ha happy. Uh, so we're going to need a supplement. We're going to need... What are you? Crab, cockles, and sand eels. Okay. Crab. We're going to need... Cockles. And we're going to need sand eels. There we go. 
And other than that, that is, I mean, that is a, that is a shark. I mean, the other ones are sharks, I know. But, I mean, that is what you would think of when you think of a shark, isn't it? Let's be honest. That is the, that is the dude you're thinking of, isn't it? Look at him go. Or her, I guess. Beautiful, though. Yeah, there's the screenshot right there. Boom. Sharks and turtles this episode. Some cool fish. Um, I think we'll leave it there. There's no point in starting. I mean, we can. Get, should we go and have? I tell you what. I tell you what. I tell you what. Let's um, let's just save. We'll go and have a look at the new level because we've still got a few minutes left before this is a, a video that's a decent length. So let's have a click here and let's have a you in and let's go to see what Le Font is or Le Dufont is all about. Level number eight. There's only two more. Nine and ten. Turn a shabby warehouse into shabby chic. So what's the thing going to be here then? The denizens of Bourgeois Le Dufont don't like anything too flashy, and they certainly won't stand for anything that isn't one of a kind. Wow, okay. Due to this, you operate under a peculiar restriction. You're only allowed one of each species. Hmm. With that in mind, you'll have to craft an aquarium that is small but perfectly formed. Fortunately for you, the discarded items in this warehouse may help you get started. Unsurprisingly, upcycling is very fashionable in Le Dufont. Your goal is to reach rank 10 and to obtain a high daily revenue. Prove you are the, the the best things come in small packages. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so yeah, a lot of crap hanging around, but we've not got much money either. But we have, um, we have at least some stuff to start us off. Um, a bit of a gift shop, a bit of gear that we can throw into some tanks, some benches. Oh, I like it. I like how the, even with quite a limited sort of palette, uh, he's managed to make quite an interesting little uh, little thing here. There's no fish. But we do have some tanks with rocks in them. Um, yeah, all right. And then what have we got here? Surgeon fish. Uh, hello. If you get a tank with three surgeon fish in it. Oh, hold on. It said one of each type, it said. Oh, a surgeon fish, a, 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 a group. Right, okay. So, yeah, all right, okay. Um, so it's mostly little fish here. But we've got corals. That's good. All right. Okay, cool. Well, there you go. We're going to make a posh little uh, aquarium in Le Dufon in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then give us a like. It really does help out the channel. And if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Any thoughts, queries, or suggestions, you can pop them down in the comments. If you fancy a chat, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at John T. Sparrow. If you'd like to join in with the Geekism community, you can do so over on our Geekism Discord server. You'll find the link for that in the description. If you uh, thank you very much to all of our patrons, by the way, of course, over their fantastic support at patreon.com slash geekism, uh, without which these videos would not be possible. And thank you very much to all of our affiliates. You can find the links in the description. Uh, get yourself some cheap games and other goodies and support the channel while you're at it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.